Hi, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard, and today we're going to be talking about my updated Eugene Virena deck profile. So my Eugene list is a little bit spicy now because it's got some grade four Virena action going on. Before I go into the deck profile, I want to really quickly thank at Rotanks2, Ms. or Mr. Tanks on Twitter. He's always posting his Eugene lists and updates for how he plays the deck. And I think if you guys want some more Eugene inspiration, I highly recommend following him on Twitter. This list was definitely inspired by one of his more recent deck lists that he posted. So I definitely want to say thank you, Mr. Tanks, for Eugene lists. You're honestly really awesome for showing off these really cool ideas for these fun and wacky ways to play with Eugene. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. Starting off with a grade zero, it's going to be Double Gun of Dust Storm Bart. It's the starter for Eugene, but you know, you can kind of just use whatever Dragon Empire starter you want. Our grade one is Nigel. So Nigel's skill is when you ride Rander on top of it, it gets the soul charge. The second skill doesn't really matter because it's only on rear and we only run Nigel for the ride deck. So going on to the grade twos for Rander, we have its skill being that when it rides, uh, when Eugene rides on top of it, you choose a card from your drop zone and you put it into your soul. So that's another way of filling your soul. As well, you get to draw a card. So that way, you know, you get to have a, at least like a little trade for ditching a card, then you get to draw a card. So it's like a free ride. And finally, Heavy Artillery of Dust Storm Eugene. So Eugene's main skill is act, you rest two units, and you choose one of your opponent's rear guards and you retire it. And then Eugene itself gets 10k. Second skill is if your opponent's rear guard was retired this turn, you soul blast five. You'll get the same number at the top of your deck equal to the number of your opponent's open rear guard circles, and you get to call them. And then the rest of the stuff that you don't decide to call, you put into your soul. So if your opponent has five open circles, you look at top five, you can either call a whole board or you can call like two or three cards and put the rest of your soul just to feed more soul blast costs. So Eugene is a lot of control, a lot of field building, um, but it can be really RNG for the most part. But that's where the uh, the calling from the top of the deck comes in hand in handy with the spice for this deck. So let's go ahead and talk about the main deck. I am running two copies of Virena Espirada. I know what you're thinking. There, there's no other grade fours in this deck that we're running to call it. So here's what happens. The main skill is the second skill, which is when your Vanguard attacks, you Soul Blast one, stand this unit, and this gets 5k for each of the underdress. It's not gonna have any underdress, but it's the fact that it restands. Because Eugene's skill allows you to just look at the top X amount of cards and call them, you can call this from among them, and that way you can swing with this first Swing a Eugene, this re-stands for a Soul Blast. So now you have multi-attacking in Eugene, which is really cool. Um, I was going to bump this up to four, or I'm sorry, three or four. <laughs> but just for space issues, I'm kind of testing around for consistency's sake. I don't want this to get too cluttered in my hand since once it's in your hand, it's kind of stuck unless you have Dustin. So for now I'm doing it with two, but I might bump this up to three or four. But so far, this is kind of just like a little bit of spice you can throw into the deck and kind of surprise your opponent. And they're like, whoa, where'd this great forward come from? But uh, it's not the end game. It's not the main focus of the deck. It's just a nice little like tech you can throw into like, boop, plop it down, get that fourth attack off. So that's what it's mostly there for. So now we're going on to the grade threes for the main deck. Three copies of Eugene. So it's mostly for persona writing, just because, you know, you want to give your front row more power and you want to be able to draw some cards. So that's why I run the other three copies. And last but not least for grade three is I'm running three copies of the order Best Harvest because Best Harvest is best card for best deck Eugene. Best Harvest's effect is you choose one of your Vanguards and it gets the auto ability, Van. When your opponent's rear guard is retired during your main phase, you get to draw a card. So every time you use one of Eugene's effects, you just boom, draw, boom, draw, boom, draw. Definitely want to have good access to best harvest so that way I can just keep on drawing cards. That way I can also just, if I want to see specific targets to, you know, put down my board, put a little more control on my opponent, and also just have some defense just so, just in case, you know, I need to be able to protect myself. So best harvest is a really great card. Don't think I can picture a Eugene deck that's not running it. So definitely run at least three, two to three best harvests, I would say. So now we're on to grade twos. We're going to talk about a new card, which is 
Twin Bullet of Dust Storm, Travis. So Travis's skill is really, really good. Act, once per turn, if your opponent's rearguard was retired to this turn, you counterblast one, then you get to soul charge one, choose one of your opponent's rearguards and retire it, and this gets 10K. So you don't have to retire grade two or greater, you gain soul and it gives itself 10K power. That sounds pretty free considering the fact that a lot of the cards in Eugene only need one card by itself to retire something and then you just throw this down, counter blast one, get a soul, 20K beat stick, your opponent loses a unit, then you can maybe use Eugene to fill your board back up. So Travis is a really, really great control card for any Dragon Pet Empire deck, honestly. It doesn't have to be Eugene specific. Definitely wanna run for Travis in this deck. Next up, we're bringing back some older cards. This one's the Triple R from set three. Howitzer of Dust Storm, Dustin. So what Dustin does is when it's placed on rear, if your Vanguard is Eugene, you put a card from your hand into your soul, you draw a card, and you choose one of your opponent's grade two or greater rearguards and you retire it. If you unfortunately happen to draw into your Virena, you can use Dustin's skill just to shove it into the soul. That way it's not just sitting in your hand for nothing, you know, I'm just stuck there. So that's its first skill. Second skill is when this attacks. Soul Blast one, this gets 2K for each of your opponent's open rear guard circle. It's like Tempest Bolt skill. That's another way for this to, be to beef up uh, as well, but it, mostly the big thing is the fact that you can put a card from your hand to soul and then still draw a card. And if you combo this off with Best Harvest, you get to draw another card on top of that. Dustin's a great card for the deck as well. Lastly, for grade twos, we got Dinosaurs, Strong Fortress Draken, Geobrachio. So Geobrachio skill is if your Vanguard is Eugene, you Soul Blast one, rest this unit, choose one of your opponent's rearguards and retire it. So this is one of those like single card retire cards like I was talking before. So you just plot this down, rest itself, Soul Blast one, boom, retire something. The second skill is at the beginning of your battle phase, if your opponent has one or less rear guards, stand this unit, this gets 5k. So you can rest itself for its own skill and then your opponent has no board, boom, restand 15k beater. Also, it doesn't have to restand for the 5k, you can just plop it down, beginning your battle phase, your opponent has no board, 15k beater. You can also use it for Eugene's skill, you rest this and something else and then restand it. So. This is a rest target. It's also just retires on its own. So Geobrachia is a great card for Eugene. And it's a dinosaur. Like, hello. <laughs> All right, speaking of dinosaurs, we got grade ones, Strong Sharp Dragon, Geisfort, Geisfort. So this is a new card from set four. It's a rare back row only rear guard circle once per turn. When your opponent's rear guard is retired during your turn, you stand this unit and it gets 2K. Like I said, it's kind of like Geobrachio where you can rest it and Geobrachio and then with Eugene's skill and then some something retired. This stands gets 2k beginning of battle phase if your opponent has no board. This stands so you get your board back anyway. So this is a great addition to the deck in that regard as well. So it's your go-to rest target for Eugene. It's also the fact that it doesn't have to rest or it doesn't have to stand to gain the 2k power. So it's a 10k booster um, when you retire something. So it's just an overall really helpful card for the deck. And I feel like there's plenty of cards now that we have Travis that allow you to retire stuff on its own. So we don't really need uh, the Idris, the grade one drag ridder to kind of help you with that. So guys for it is kind of just more like a cost card and just power booster, it's 10K booster. It's still pretty decent. So that's why we're running that. Two copies of Keys and Ragey. Keys and Ragey uh, is just because sometimes if you don't have Travis or Geobrachia or something that just needs you to proc off Eugene's skill to call a board, you have Keys and Ragey. It's Act, Soul Blast 1, Counter Blast 1. Choose one of your opponent's rearguards in the same column as this and retire it. Just a simple plop it down, retire something, and then control card. Um, and then I'm running one copy of Idris just because friendship card from my friend Chris. Thank you, Chris. I still appreciate my Idris. I love you. Uh, Idris' skill is if your opponent's rearguard was retired this turn, you can act, counter boss one, and pick one of the following. So you get one of two. You can either put this to soul, choose your opponent's grade two or greater rearguards, retire it, so you get more soul and empty the board. So kind of preparing yourself for Eugene's skill to fill your board. Or you can give this unit 5th, uh, 10K power. 
So then it becomes a 15K beater or a 15K booster. So that's my reasoning for running Idris. Last but not least, going into our last of our grade ones, our PGs, Twin Bunkler PG is the one where if you have two or more in hand, you have to discard. But if you have one or less, you don't have to discard. So it's cool. All right, now we're going on to triggers, starting with Drag Veda. So Drag Veda over trigger, you know, Hundo Mill, draw a card. If it's in damage, you remove it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, additional effect is you choose your Vanguard and you stand it. Who doesn't love a restanding Vanguard in your Dragon deck? Right, Overlord players? At least it's not like Mahar where you don't get to restand and get another triple drive, but it's still pretty decent the fact since Eugene gives itself 10k. So you restand and then you swing with another 23. If you get triggers, like make your Vanguard bigger if you need to push through, or you know, just the fact that you're getting more drive checks with a big Eugene is still pretty good. So Drag Veda is the go-to over trigger. Next up we got crits. Starting off with Burning Flail Dragon. So Burning Flail is at the end of the battle that it boosted. Put this to your soul, choose a unit, give it 2k. So fills the soul, so it's there if we need to. Um, if you call it out with Eugene skill, it's not dead because you're gonna shove it to soul anyways. Might as well have a booster out of it. And yeah, it's a crit with the skill. So definitely wanna run it. Four more crits because uh, crits win games. And then also you can uh, make your opponent fear your critical triggers if they keep seeing that you keep drive checking them. The way that this deck basically steals games is with crits, unfortunately, but we'll see what happens in the future for Eugene. Next up for triggers, I'm running three of the front trigger, which is Blaze Made in Parama. If your opponent's Vanguard is grade three or greater, this gets 5k shield. So 20k shield, it's a front. Um, because you're running the grade four Virena, if you drive check a front, you can just give it to the front row and makes your front whole front row bigger anyways. Yeah, it's just also good defense because you're gonna be drawing a bunch of cards thanks to the best harvest. So this is a good card to have for defense as well. And last but not least, four heal triggers because every deck runs heals and heals help you stay alive. And I think Eugene needs all the help it can get. So we're running the heals. So I'm gonna real quickly kind of give a general idea of what the main combo of Eugene works and what this deck can really do for the most part. So if you're gonna start off and you already rode into your Eugene and you're trying to start your turn, you don't really have a field going. If you have best harvest, go ahead and just plop that down because you're gonna be retiring a bunch and drawing a bunch anyways. So the first thing you wanna do is start throwing down cards that are gonna get you to retire stuff. So like Howitzer. Howitzer just lets you put a card from hand to soul. You draw a card, you pop a card. Best Harvest goes off, you draw a card. Then you can put down Travis. Travis says you already killed something, you counterblast, you soul charge, you pop something. Best Harvest, you draw something. And you just kind of keep doing that. If you want to even go even further, you can rest two units, pop something, and then draw something. And then keeping it going, you can go, okay, well, I popped a bunch of cards. Let's just go ahead and use Eugene's effect. Let's Soul Blast five, right? Assuming your opponent has like, let's say four cards open. One, two, three, four. Look at that. You got, you got some boosters and some big old beefy swinger attackers. Maybe the fifth card. Look at that. It was five cards. Boom, boom. Look at that. You just pulled out that Virena during you. Eugene's skill. So that way, now you have a full on board to work with. And then you just go ahead and swing. You would swing with this first and restand it, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Multi attacking, there's that. Main goal of the deck is to just pull off these skills that are going to blow up your opponent's board. And that's pretty much it. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good night. Bye.